A family's SUV riddled with bullets after road rage spirals out of control. This all happened in Brevard County over the weekend. A mother and her three children were inside this SUV when the suspects reportedly pulled up behind them and then forced them off the road. The two suspects then allegedly got out of the vehicle and opened fire. You're talking road rage here. Kids in the car, nine shots into the windshield. I mean, how nobody's dead. You know, God was, was smiling down on somebody. The two suspects were tracked down and arrested. They are charged with aggravated assault and attempted murder. They're expected to be in court tomorrow. Well, we're learning more details about this woman. Tiffany Alexander was hit and killed last week by an alleged drunk driver in Winter Springs. And that is our big story at 530 today. The woman accused of causing that crash is still behind the bars today. Fox 35's Chris Lindsay talked to one of Tiffany's friends about the tragic sequence of events. It was just all a, a blur and a, just a rush of emotions. This tragic moment changed the lives of two families in Winter Springs forever. Last Tuesday morning, Michael Smith was on the phone with his wife, Stephanie. Ten seconds into our conversation, Steph just started screaming um, and said, I got to go. Stephanie was in a car behind her best friend, 29-year-old Tiffany Alexander, when a car flew through an intersection, slamming into Tiffany's vehicle. Normally, when you see an accident like that, you hear the sound of screeching brakes or swerving tires or something. There was nothing. The mother of three died at the hospital. Police say 25-year-old Esnobil Escobar was behind the wheel of the other car. They claim her blood alcohol level was five times the legal limit. I don't know anybody in this room if that we'd be standing at a 38. I don't even know how she was driving at a 38. Uh, it boggles my mind. Yeah, I don't know the lady. She obviously has problems. Smith says he hasn't spent much time thinking about Escobar. Instead, he spent his days reflecting on Tiffany's life alongside his wife. She was the driving force uh, in that family. Uh, she was always so happy, always so, when you, she walked into the room, she just lit it up. He tells me she'll be truly missed. She made you feel valued. She made you feel like she cared about you, and it was genuine. Reporting in Winter Springs, Chris Lindsay, Fox 35 News. So sad. The family of this little girl with the big smile says they are heartbroken. They share these pictures with us tonight. The fourth grader was hit and killed while biking to school on Friday. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm John Brown. And I'm Luann Sorrell. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffamonte has been following this story since the tragic crash at Sugar Mill Elementary in Volusia County. And that is where she is live tonight. So Stephanie, you talked to this little girl's grandmother. Yeah, I spoke with her on the phone. She tells me that her granddaughter, Shalon, was just so special. She had a beautiful smile. She was so kind, sweet, and she loved to learn, and she loved her family. They weren't ready to do an interview on camera just yet, but they did want to share their thanks for all of the prayers and condolences they've been getting from the community during this very difficult time. It's also been a difficult time for the students here at the elementary school who are supposed to return to class tomorrow, some of which say, they just don't think they're ready. With the innocence of a child, Sugar Mill Elementary School students writing their condolences for their classmate, Shalon Kamali. Port Orange police say the 10 year old was riding her bike in the crosswalk outside of the school's entrance Friday when she was hit by a driver leaving the school after dropping off another student. Her grandmother tells me Shalon was smart talented and that her happy place was the ocean. She still can't fathom that her beautiful granddaughter is gone and believes this could have been prevented. As we head into the last week of school, Sugar Mill parents have a message. Slow down. Life doesn't need to be that fast. You can take the extra five seconds, 10 seconds, whatever it's going to be to watch kids go through a crosswalk and wait at the stop sign. Seth Cordero's son Ben was friends with Shalon. He isn't sure if Ben can handle going to class Tuesday. My kid, he doesn't want to even go to school tomorrow. So I think I think that uh, that says a lot about what happened here because um, normally he's like, oh yeah, I'm going to school. We spoke with Ben over the weekend. She was my friend and she died, but it sucks. I'm just scared to ride my bike now because 
that happened. Seth says it's going to be a difficult day for the entire Sugar Mill Elementary community as they head into the last four days of school with broken hearts. The teachers are still dealing with it as well. It's going to be hard for them to have to cope with that. Also, stay strong for the kids and try to keep their composure the rest of the week. Um, so it's just it's just uphill for, for everybody at this point. Now, this is the crosswalk where the little girl lost her life, where she was hit while riding her bicycle. And I want to show you, so walk with me this way. We know of at least three other instances where a child was hit outside of this school, one of which was right behind me. You can see not too far away at a different crosswalk in front of the school. In that case, there was also a child who was riding his bike, and his mother says that he was hit by a parent at the school. Now, there is going to be a school board meeting tomorrow night. Plenty of parents tell me they're going to be there and they're calling for speed humps and a crossing guard or police officer in this area to make them feel like it's more safe for their kids to go to school. Reporting live in Port Orange, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News. Stephanie, thank you. A lifeguard truck ran over two teenagers on Memorial Day. Those girls were just lying on the sand sunbathing when they were hit. Fox 35's Kelsey Cairns is live outside Halifax Health Medical Center where the girls are recovering tonight. So Kelsey, you just spoke to the girls' parents. Yes, I actually spoke to the mother of Sophie and she is so angry about everything that happened yesterday, especially this was supposed to be just a nice day with her and her friend on the beach and it turned into something much, much worse, just terrible. Actually, mom told me that she was at work when she got that call that, hey, your daughter has been involved in an accident. She could hear the sirens in the background of that phone call. So let's really break down what happened specifically. So it happened around 2.30 yesterday afternoon as all the beachgoers were enjoying a Monday on the sand. Beach safety says a patrol sergeant driving a lifeguard truck in the emergency traffic lane on the beach hit those two 18 year old women injuring them. The girls were reportedly visiting the beach from Kissimmee. They were rushed to the hospital where they are recovering right now. Sophia's mom though still very upset. My daughter remembers being laying on her stomach. The other girl was laying on her back and they got ran over and then they got like reversed on. Oh. Yes, my daughter's friend, the tire went over her face, so she has um, a lot of scrapes, cuts, and bruises, um, lots of stitches. Uh, my daughter's is more internal, neck, head injuries, um, substantial things, you know, that they've been in here for more than 24 hours now, and, um, and, and all this is getting figured out. It's pretty scary. Pretty scary is just putting it lightly. You can only imagine what those girls were experiencing yesterday when this all went down. Now, we learned that the sergeant driving that lifeguard vehicle has now been cited for careless driving. Beach Patrol says disciplinary action will be determined after they've reviewed this case. Now, Volusia County Sheriff's Office is also investigating this as well. Of course, if we get any new updates, you'll be the first to know right here on Fox 35. For now, reporting live from Volusia County, I'm Kelsey Cairns, Fox 35 News. Kelsey, thank you. You. Well, the beaches were packed for Memorial Day weekend in Volusia County, and deputies had to deal with a lot of activity. They issued several dozen tickets, mainly for violating county ordinances regarding dogs, alcohol, and loud music on the beach. Deputies made about 400 traffic stops, and 25 people were arrested. Lifeguards rescued 91 people from the water.